Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing good and staying safe. First of all, for the love of fashion and food, do subscribe. So last month, my dad and me both contributed and got me a sewing machine. I wanted to do thrift flip videos. They are my love. I love converting clothes. I love deconstruction. I love upcycling. So today I thought, why not do one? Because I finally got it and my machine has been sitting on my table for at least a month now. I had this old, well not old, brand new Van Huizen trousers. They're very corporate trousers that my parents gifted me and I wanted to flip it into something else more wearable. And recently I saw Kendall Jenner wearing a particular outfit, this outfit right here. And I just fell in love with it and also waistcoats are the new sweater vest so I wanted to make that for myself so I thought why not do it I have the equipment I have a garment to flip so I better do it for myself so one and a half days two nights a deconstructed trouser my first broken needle a broken button well broken nails some handwork well, a lot of handwork, trying to draft a pattern after seven years and also getting my periods after completing from all that stress. Here is the final product. To know how it looks, keep watching, enjoy. So, I got myself this. <laughs> I got myself this stitching sewing machine because, well, my father invested a lot of rupees for me to study this shit so i thought you know what i better be still practicing and doing all of this that i learned in four years in my college so i got myself this machine i also got myself some coats threads a grading scale this is important some pins that have not arrived yet and i think i'm ready i really want to do some thrift flip videos because i have a lot of clothes that are waiting to be flipped and sewn into something else. So I'm really excited about that. Hi everyone. So today for the thrift flip, I thrift flip, thrift flip. I'm going to flip or upcycle a very old pair of trousers. Actually, it's not old. It's just that my parents had gifted it to me way back when I never wore it. It's a pair of new trousers that I never wore because it's just too corporate-ish for me and it fits really weird because it's firstly it's low waist and it's a tapered leg and it just doesn't match my vibe anymore it's from Van Heusen but I never wore it it's this nice gray light gray colored melange checkered I think it's called window pane checkered the fabric is nice but I just never wore it so I'm going to flip this and and make it into a waistcoat let's start We are right now, no longer 17. Oh, have we been around? Got some years on us, and a new barrel to see. So we hear that I still appear inside a dreamland. Weird that I still appear inside a sleeping. Does he know about our time? It's how you ran psycho, and that I'm on the way where the night goes. So as I said, this is the vest that I'm going for. Mine would look like this with the checkered pattern. So this is what I have so far. I'm either going to do a princess cut front and back or I think since mine is checkered and I don't want to, you know, miter my garment. <laughs> Mitering is uh, matching these lines at the seams right here or here. So maybe I'll do just darts with a simple v-neck. Yeah, that's the plan so far. I do have some brown paper, so I'll try and draft a pattern first. Because without pattern, I think I'll just waste my fabric and all the ripping and the hard work that I've done so far.
you know there was a time in my childhood like when i was very young when my mom used to stitch all my clothes like most of my party clothes so for every party i remember i used to have a new outfit when i would go to those parties i remember people or rather my relatives some of my relatives would ask me oh bimi kunne silai se to hi 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 like it felt like sarcasm like they would ask me where i got a new outfit and if my mom stitched it and it felt like sarcasm at that moment because it was a very sensitive age i was very young and i started detesting her stitching like homemade clothes i asked her to stop doing that for me and just buy me clothes like regular clothes from the stores but i remember she would always make me clothes that she used to wear in our teenagers and like every fashion trend repeats each say 15 to 20 years i would always have the clothes that were unique and they were like not in trend immediately but then somehow down the line within a year people would be wearing it and i did not understand that at that moment but like now i do i should have just continued that i should have just let my mom stitch all my clothes but you know stupid me <laughs> in my childhood little things in life that you realize only when you grow up <laughs> i guess So all my panels are ready to sew now. Those are my front. So I went for the princess cut, the front, and this is the back. So right now, first of all, I will start by sewing the darts of the back panels and attaching the front panels together. So let's start with that. this is the draft i mean not the draft like the actual body but the body is done i have so this is where i've reached i will have to give this some more shaping after i finish my armhole i do have to take down the shoulder even more the shoulder slope hello beautiful people it's the oh wait a sec okay um fabric lint on my lens hello everyone so the progress on the waistcoat uh yesterday i had put an entire lining inside but it didn't work out so i removed the lining i just put facing i finished the facing and right now i'm finishing my armhole with strips of lining and then this is what it looks like right now and i'll be done and then tomorrow i can show you the outfit that i was dying to wear and oh um my table is a mess but one thing that i forgot is to get buttons i don't have buttons let's see what i can do i need to blind hem this so that my sleeve looks like this from the outside after i blind hem it and it looks nice and clean
two nights and almost half a day. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. And I look like shit right now because I woke up and I just started working on the buttonholes and the buttons. It's not top notch construction, but it'll do. I mean, it's pretty decent. My vest is ready. And now I just need to iron it properly and take a bath, style it, and just be candle jumping, you know. No, who am I kidding? I can't be. But I'm really happy how it turned out. I think it's pretty decent. What do you think? Or am I just trying to fool myself? No, it is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. So this is my look against that Kendall Jenner's photo that I showed you. I have uh, black knit trousers. I think hers were like proper pleated trousers. But I don't have such in a white leg. So I just put this on and I'll be adding my sunglasses. She's carrying these. I put on my braided sandals. I can be a third doll Just a symptom you've forgotten You slip me in your pocket Turn on video and like I said for the love of fashion and food do subscribe for more see you